Sad fact is, human beings are not worthy of trust. It is human nature to lie, take shortcuts, lose your nerve, get tired, make mistakes. No rational patient would put his trust in a human being. See, their morals, their code, it's a bad joke. We've dropped at the first sign of trouble. It is our mission here to rigorously and ruthlessly train the humanity out of you and... Humanity is overrated. But you ask the average person when death comes knocking at their door whether they want a prick on their side or some kindergarten teacher who's going to kiss their ass. Because when that day comes, I want the prick. He can be the outcast. He can make the choice that no one else can make. The right choice. You thought we could be decent men in an indecent time. But you were wrong. The world is cruel. And the only morality in a cruel world is chance. I take risks. Sometimes patients die. Shame on you. But not taking risks causes more patients to die. So I guess my biggest problem is I've been cursed with the ability to do the math. That you think that you have to be a prick to get things done. And that you actually think that that's a new idea. It is in the nature of medicine that you are going to screw up. You are going to kill someone. I know what it takes to look in the eyes of dying people day after day after day and to come home for dinner at night. You have all these rules and you think they'll save you. Death is not the enemy, gentlemen. Death. To die. To expire. To pass on. To perish. To peg out. To push up daisies. To push up posies. To become extinct. Curtains. Deceased. Demised. Departed and defunct. Dead as a doornail. Dead as a herring. Dead as a mutton. Dead as nits. The last breath. Paying a debt to nature. The big sleep. God's way of saying, slow down. What's wrong with death, sir? What are we so mortally afraid of? Why can't we treat death with a certain amount of humanity and dignity and decency and, God forbid, maybe even humor? Our bodies break down, sometimes when we're 90, sometimes before we're even born. But it always happens, and there's never any dignity in it. A doctor's mission should be not just to prevent death, but also to improve the quality of life. Isn't treating patients why we became doctors? No, treating illnesses is why we became doctors. Treating patients is what makes most doctors miserable. That's why you treat a disease, you win, you lose. You treat a person, I guarantee you, you win, no matter what the outcome. You just said, in case I'm wrong, it has happened. <laughs>